welcome back. I hope everyone's having a great day and welcome to 2023. 2022 is over. It was an amazing year, but this year is going to be even better, especially in the automotive world. Uh, and for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Jeff and this is where I share my personal passions with you guys. On occasion, I talk about watches and my personal gun collection. And in this case, we're talking about the 2024 CA E-Ray. It's a handful. So from a C8 owner's perspective, uh, I have a 2021 C8 3LT. Uh, in this case, it's a wrap and blue. If you guys would like to check it out, dive through the channel, take a look at it. Uh, but from my perspective of having this car and then I'm diving into the 2023 C8 Z06 flat plane crank, now diving into a 2024 C8 E-Ray, man, Chevy, you guys are killing it. And if you guys want to support this channel and you like this content, click that like, share, subscribe. Give me a huge thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It'll help YouTube's algorithm share my videos with you guys when I have my latest uploads. Uh, with that said, we're going to dive into this. Let's take a deeper look into the 2024 C8 E-Ray. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions of everything that's come out. Um, I haven't looked through all this yet, so it will really be my first impressions, to say the least. Seeing the footage that Chevy released of this 2024 C8 E-Ray in the snow. At first, I thought this was kind of a gimmick just as far as a commercial, but then um, they kept on releasing more and more footage. So, wow, this car does look like it's capable of uh, handling the snow at least pretty well as far as the footage. Does that mean you're going to drive it in the snow? You guys let me know. Let me know if you get this car or if you were to get this car, uh, would you drive this in the snow? It looks like it would be a blast. I mean, 655 horsepower in the snow all would drive in any car would be freaking awesome so hats off to them as far as uh the way they design this car now as far as a hybrid system um i gotta be honest with you i didn't know what to expect um looking at this i was thinking to myself all right well is the 6.2 liter still going to be there uh how are they going to do this so the answer is yes the 6.2 liter uh, is still going to be there um, you're gonna have lithium batteries as you can see in this footage and this center console area uh, And it's gonna be Regenerating uh, as you drive as far as recharging the batteries Absolutely phenomenal how they designed this. I, I did not know what to expect again There is your 6.2 liter uh, and the batteries I keep on emphasizing these batteries because when they first designed the C8 I was really curious to know what they were gonna do with this section right here. Uh, if you were to look underneath the car, below that, I believe underneath here is all empty. And they had this in mind when they are designing the C8 Z51, so hats off to them. But um, yeah, I'm very, very impressed so far as far as a engineering perspective of how they have this laid out. So again, your batteries will be in the center. Uh, these can be lithium. I, I, I'm guessing that this is gonna hold up for a good while, otherwise they wouldn't have designed it as such. Um, the question is going to be, if you care, down the road, um, how much is it going to be to replace these down the road, if that is something you care about. If you're buying this from a, a collector's perspective, you, you probably don't care. But this that's things that I think about, right? So as far as diving more into the technical drawing aspect of this, it gives you more of an appreciation of how they have this laid out. Um I gotta say, I mean, I'm just thoroughly impressed with how they have everything designed um, as far as the engineers. So, you know, hats off to them. And this is supposed to be quiet, uh, quiet mode as far as electric when you're driving this throughout the city up to 45 miles an hour. Now, does that mean anything to you? For me, I, I think it's pretty cool, but uh, me personally, I like to have my cars pretty loud. Uh, diving into the front end design of this, it's starting to grow on me. You guys give me your opinions of what you think as far as this front end layout. I love the fact that this is the Z06 wide body, and that is in tradition. So the C7 platforms um, before the C8, it was the same way. So when you had the uh, Grand Sports in 2019, it also had the wide body. So it's not surprising that they have this in a wide body application as well for the E-Ray. Now what is surprising is the fact that they gave you standard um to have the carbon uh ceramic brakes that blew my mind um of course they're going to have some packages they're going to call this the uh, zero performance package um it's going to come standard with the uh 
high performance Michelin Pilot Sport uh, 4S's and obviously these are summer only tires and then of course you're gonna have probably a neat color that might be silver uh, silver flare and then you'll have your stripes as well now stripes for me is it's not something that I prefer to have on a C8 but you guys let me know what you think um, do you like the stripes or not uh, it's really up to you but looking at this color this is like the Elkhart uh, blue although obviously with my car I love the rapid blue but this looks phenomenal I love the all color as far as uh, the side of the car and everything else as far as design just all blue that just looks so good um, kudos to them on this design now again it comes standard with the ceramic carbon uh, carbon brakes that is that was shocking especially at this price point I, I thought that would be an option but it makes sense right what I'm curious to know is the clutch packs again this is your option if you guys choose stripes uh, in that particular package but I'm really curious to know which clutch packs are they using for this car is it the same as the Z06 because um, as we know with the C8 Z51 uh, anything right around 650 or 700 horsepower or so your clutch packs might start having problems now this is the interior of the E-Ray it looks very similar to the Z06 and the Z Z51 C8 because it is identical with the exception of the carbon fiber options and obviously the uh, digital display is going to have more options having said that it is slightly different I did take that back they do have right down here which is hard to see a quick charging button and that is going to be for your hybrid system so I'm assuming if you're tracking this car and you want to get that battery uh, charged up as fast as possible um, that is one way to do it now I don't know too much about that as far as specifics but if you look at this layout it gives you a lot of infotainment information on this e-ray other than that and the carbon fiber options um, it looks identical to the C8 Z51 and the Z06 for 2023 now I don't know uh, they're gonna have a front lift option on this car as you can see right here there is no option for front lift at least they didn't choose it the reason why I'm stating that is because the front uh, where it's gonna have a hybrid motor I just don't know if they had room I don't I can't imagine they wouldn't have room for that front lift but I haven't heard anything about that so if you guys have please let me know and uh, give me your opinions on this uh, interior um, as far as this carbon fiber package uh, would you guys choose this if, if you're going to spec this out? I do love the steering wheel. That is different, obviously, than the uh, standard Z51 C8. But diving down, uh, they're going to give you, again, uh, more infotainment information, which they should, obviously. And electrical output, engine output, I mean, that is pretty, pretty awesome. I love how they kept the display center pretty much the same as far as the layout as the C8 Z51 why break well why fix something if it isn't broken right um i just think the layout is perfect how they have it it's not too big it's not too small um it's just tailored right towards you right so if we look closer right here uh i still can't tell if they have a front lift that is i'm really curious to know about that um, and of course you have your builder you can design your car on, on the website if you choose to let me know what colors you guys would choose I, I just man I love some of these colors. that looks so good this did take me for a little bit of surprise because a lot of people are trying to guess what was going on here uh, they chose to use the exhaust left to right instead of center like the Z06 but again they want to identify this uh, they want you to identify this separately from the Z06 and not be confused uh, if you look further down to the bottom left you can see right here how much wider it is right same layout as the z06 and i love the fact that they chose different rims love that those rims look really good and this front end is starting to grow on me I, i'm not gonna lie i'm not i'm not hating it. i'm not hating it and of course you got your nomenclature of your e-ray on the side um, obviously if that was a z06 it would be there um, interesting enough it was not there for the z51 and again this bump out wasn't as big either so but taking a look at it um it, it is starting to grow on me um i would like to see the full aero package i don't know if this is so that would be pretty interesting to see as well and the convertibles have definitely grown on me as well since these cars have first come out and there's an overhead shot of this particular package 
And I think that still is Solar Flare. Guys, I could be wrong. If you know that is that clever, please let me know. But the goal of this car uh, is to drive this all year round. Instead of having your C8 sit inside, um, I don't think you'll be driving your Z06 all year round. Um, just because of the fact that in the winter time of those tires, it's not going to be fun. That car does not hook too well from what I understand. Um, my C8, I do drive all year round. It's got over... 10,000 miles on it. If you like to see a full build or the updates on that car, just check it out through the channel and let me know what you guys think. But this is the, what this is tailored towards, right? A grand touring car all year round, even in the snow, if you want it to. Um, that's a hell of a sales pitch. It really is. So here's a closer look at the Arrow. Very similar to the Z06. I actually like this better than the Arrow package that came with the C8. Um... And I think that's Elkhart Blue. I don't think that's Rabbit Blue. Man, it does look good. That wing, I love the profile of that wing. I really do. I, I really like the layout of this car in general. And, of course, there's your uh, nomenclature again for the E-Ray. Um, so, guys, let me know what you think so far of how this car has come about. Um, you know, what would you do? How would you spec this car out? That's a whole other discussion, right? We can dive into that. But my first impression so far, um, 655 as far as horsepower. The weight of this car, from my understanding, is right around 3,800 pounds. So it didn't add too much more weight compared to the uh, C8 Z51 package. Now that car, the C8, I believe is right around mid-60s starting price. You can't compare the starting price to this, right? It's drastically different. I mean, that car, let's just go with fully spec'd out. So my car fully spec'd out was about ninety-four dollars to $96,000. So fully spec'd out. You know, taking a jump to what this car has base, is it worth it? In my opinion, so far, I'm going to go with yes. Uh, would I choose this over the Z06? Again, discussion for another time. We will dive into that later. But let me know what you would do. Do you think the starting point is worth it? And what is your first impressions of this car so far? Uh, wow. I mean, it looks pretty good. I know a lot of people are pretty hyped about it. I know a lot of people are going to be trying to order this car. So if you can get it for MSRP, then by all means. So guys, that's my first impressions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this review. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I will see you at the next upload, and you guys have a great day.